Thank you so much for being here with us, as well as our live studio audience who's in the house. We're excited, baby. Yes, this is our... This is actually our second, uh, first, second episode, first. The other way around. Wait, well, like, <laughs> it's our second, second season. Second season, first episode. That's yes, right, it's baby. our premiere. <laughs> and, uh, and we want to give a special thanks uh, to our video sponsor and production company, 317 Marketing and Media, who's producing our season this year. We're so excited to be partnering with them. That's right, La Dama O and the Pilot. That's right, in the building. So today we have a very exciting and amazing uh, recipe for you guys. This is something that my wife has been asking me to make for months. It's one of her favorite dishes, and she asked me to find a way to ketify it. So since I am the Keto Master Chef. Um, we're gonna bring you a low carb version of our Keto Cod Fritters. But first, let me just tell you, this is, we're so honored and so pleased to have our new kitchen studio. And we're so pleased to be here because this is actually where our first masterclass was held together. So That's this is right. where the inspiration all came into play. So we're That's excited. Right. And yes, about the bacalaitos, my love, that <laughs> is a signature fritura delicacy that we all, you know, Caribbean and Latin uh, community have. And me being from Puerto Rico, always going to visit Puerto Rico, I love to, as soon as I get off the plane, I go to Piñones, which is a local place where you can have all types of frituras. So I said, what better way to enjoy one of my favorites, bacalaitos, and doing it keto. That's keto right. Keto fire. That's right. And so cod fritters, like my wife said, they're enjoyed all over the Caribbean. They're, they're made with salted cod, and people have been salting fish for about 500 years. We haven't. We only had refrigeration and electricity for about 100 years. So people yes. started this method of drying out fish and then salting so they can preserve it long into the winter months and throughout. And so when you, you know, and, and so that's that's the base of the dish. And so we're going to get right into it and start, with our, and start with our dish. Also, <laughs> salud. Cheers, my love. Salud, my love. <laughs> we are enjoying a little coconut cardamom mojito. Um, the recipe for this can be found on our YouTube channel, About That Keto Life, um, where we on our first season, second episode, our, our chicken curry episode, we made these. They're absolutely amazing. So everyone mm. that's in the building today is getting so to yummy. enjoy these. Refreshing. So check out that video so you can see the recipe yes. for this. Cheers, Cheers. baby. Mwah. All right, let's get the recipe going. Mm. Ah, that never gets old. So, this recipe is uh, very simple, just a few ingredients. I'm gonna get my pan going so it can be you know, nice and warm when it's time to fry these up. Let's get this going here, baby. Let's get it, let's get the cooking. And thanks again for those viewers that are tuning in with us right now. That's right, we're so excited to have you guys. So this recipe is very easy. We're gonna link this when we're done. We have here a third, uh, third quarter, a third of, I'm sorry, three quarters cup of almond flour, a quarter cup of coconut flour, all right? We have a little bit of a diced red bell pepper, okay? We have a little bit of a minced onion. You can use a shallot as well. And then we also have some green onion, all right? For a nice little fresh pop of flavor. This comes together very quickly. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put in here some uh, couple of eggs. Thank you, baby. Couple of eggs. I'm gonna get a little bit of warm water. And then I also have some spices going in here. I got a little bit of paprika. A little bit of garlic powder. All right. We used to make this with adobo, but you know, garlic powder is fine if you don't have any adobo. And where do I put my pitcher, honey? Here we are. So I can get some water. And, there's a, and then it's two more little components that I'm gonna put in here that are gonna help with the, with the body of this. And that's gonna be a little bit of psyllium husk. Mm -hmm. Okay, about a teaspoon of psyllium husk. And as well as a teaspoon of bacon powder. Okay, not to be confused with bacon soda. They have uh, different functions. Okay, as always, we're gonna season with a little bit of salt. All right, a little bit of fresh cracked pepper. And that's it, okay? That's, it. So, that's you know, how simple. Let us know what is your favorite delicacy, it's, you know, frituras, because there's so many of them. There's pastelillos, there's the calf uh, fish fritters, which is the bacalaitos. That's there right. There's the capurria. Ooh, we have to ah. make some of those. And we are gonna ketify them. All right, so just that's how quickly it takes to bring together your batter. We're gonna, we're gonna add some water in here, some warm water, just a, a couple of ounces to help kind of 
make this batter a little bit more wet. Help the mixture. That's right. And you know, you wanna go a little bit at a time. Coconut flour is extremely absorbent. So you don't wanna add too much water at once. You just kinda wanna play it by ear. And it should be like a very thick oatmeal or like a very thick pancake batter is kinda like what you're looking for. So our pan is nice and warm. It's getting hot. We use our avocado oil. Get that going. And it's very soon we're gonna be enjoying these bacalaitos. So this is the great thing about this recipe. Uh, it's very quick to put together. You can make them in advance. They heat, they reheat amazing, right? We tested they the do. recipe. We had them for breakfast too. Mm -hmm. so. so delicious. So and you can have this for breakfast. Scramble some eggs. Yeah. Have some cod fritters with it. It's extremely versatile. All right. So and like I said, they reheat absolutely amazing. So it's a great snack to bring with you on the road. To bring to you, absolutely. you know, at work, absolutely. wherever you want to go. Bring it to the beach. And you can make. This in advance, right? Uh, Make that's in right. Advance. That's right. Bring it, bring it to the beach. That's bring it right. to a picnic. Do a cocktail party. You have little little frituras, little finger foods for people to come. You can make them smaller. Keep them in the oven, nice and warm. And when your guests arrive, you have a nice, delicious appetizer mm -hmm. to to offer them. So let me grab and here. You also made um, a sauce for it. Yeah, we're going to get to that in yes. a second. So we're going to pair, now normally bacalaitos, people don't, you know, in the Latin community, don't normally pair with the sauce, but we thought, you know, since we're keto master chefs, that we're going to jazz these up and make a little sauce. And my love likes these nice and thin. I do. So I'm going to do my best to just press them and get them. Ooh, hear that sizzle, baby. You hear that? I like to do these with my hand because I just feel like you just have more control with your hand than you do. With a, with a spoon or spatula, all right? And I like them nice and crispy, especially That's right. the edges. <laughs> That's right. We have some questions coming in here. So let me hand these off to you, baby. We want to tackle some of our questions because we always have people DMing us and, and, and messaging us with sp specific keto questions. So this is one of the questions here. So do I have to keto a lot of meat? Like, do I have to eat a lot of meat on keto? Yeah, so a lot of people have a misconception that keto is all about, you know, eating burgers and steaks and bacon. And that's certainly, that's certainly one of the benefits of keto, but it's not an absolute necessity. Correct. Uh, we work with a lot of people who follow the ketogenic diet and don't eat meat at all. They might be pescatarian. Um, I, we, we, we work with a few people who are actually plant-based and vegan. And so though it's slightly more restrictive, it's absolutely doable. So you don't have to eat a bunch of meat. And the best thing about keto is that if you're doing keto correctly, you're not gonna be hungry that often. I was talking to a client yesterday. He was like, I must be doing something wrong because I eat one or two meals a, uh, uh, a day okay. and I was like when you're eating one or two meals a day that's the biggest sign that you're doing keto that's correctly thing, yeah. all right because that's um that's right we have another question there baby um I don't have to cook so how can I do keto all right so if uh, for someone that does not have time to cook or or the ability to cook for whatever reason or or choice or preference that's one of the great things about keto. We're, we're able to be busy, travel, be out all the time, and still keep up our meals just by making little uh, substitutions. You might not get the most quality um, fats when you, are, when you eat out, but you can still keto your meat. For example, when we go to the Italian restaurant, yes. what do we do? We omit, like, don't bring the bread. Yes, we tell the waiter, don't bring us any bread, okay? We appreciate it. <laughs> Ooh, these are looking delicious. Uh, when we go to a steakhouse, the thing about that too, they they cook pretty quick. Super quick, soup. These quick. smell amazing. Can you smell that, baby? Yeah. Like Emerald used to say, we wish we had smell a vision here for you guys. All right, so we're gonna show you these very momentarily because they're coming together beautifully. All right, thank you. So as these are coming together. They're gonna take a few minutes to fry. I'm gonna lower my heat just to make sure that they're not uh, burning too much. We also have a little sauce that we're going to, like my love said, that we're gonna pair with these today. And so we're just gonna make a little simple spicy tartar sauce, all right? This is just a few ingredients and um, we made our own mayonnaise. So again, that's also up on our channel. 
Um, and we do a few versions of keto mayonnaise. One is obviously egg-based. Uh, mayonnaise is extremely keto, but most of the mayonnaises that you buy in the store are made with unhealthy oils, so we like to make our own. It's very quick uh, and very delicious. But our favorite to make is a vegan mayonnaise yes. that we use making we using aquafaba, yes. a little bit of chickpea water from a can of cooked chickpeas because it has starch and it is, is great to help bind and emulsify mm -hmm. your mayonnaise. So that's we what we also had that one done in one of our, our episodes from last season. That's right. So we're gonna have to share all those links below. Let me grab a paper towel because our our cod fritters are just about ready to come out. Mm -mm. No, baby, they're done quick. I made them thin, remember? All right, so let's get these. Let's get this one turned over, actually. This one needs a little bit more. But All yes, right. You see how you can also Ooh, those look gorgeous. change a few of the recipes and make it a nice keto bacalaico. Absolutely. You don't have to feel guilty of having all those carbs, but still have that, that flavor, you know, and brings you back. <laughs> It That's you right. Back to your childhood, okay? <laughs> That's right. All right, you guys like that? Wonderful. All right, so that's how quick it takes. Look at these. Look how beautiful and gorgeous beautiful, they are. Beautiful. Let's pan to our other camera over here. All right? Look how beautiful and gorgeous these are. These beautiful bacalaitos, cod fritters, ketified. So it's a low carb, healthier version. It's guilt free. Yes. And um, we're going to pair these with a nice little beautiful sauce. So I have these right here. We're going to let those rest. And you can make this any size, you know? You can make them as big as your face because that's how I've seen them. <laughs> <laughs> but are you going to truly enjoy those? So. That's right. So I have in here our little uh, vegan mayonnaise. We used it making some, using some aquafaba, the water from some cooked chickpeas um, or cooked fava beans as well. That's where the name comes from. And then this is just going to be a few ingredients. I have here some pickled jalapenos, which you can just buy canned and add those. And you can moderate the heat based on your own preference. I have some lemon and lime, which we're just gonna zest with our microplane to get some of that nice citrus flavor, mm. all right? Zesting is one of the best ways, uh, zesting citrus is one of the best ways to incorporate citrus flavor into a dish, even more than the juice, because the oils of the citrus are on the outside on the skin, and you don't wanna go too far in and get the pith, because that's gonna be bitter. The juice is more of the acid. So if you wanna get that nice, balanced, rounded citrus flavor, you're gonna to wanna to use uh, the zest. I have here some, some uh, so coarse like sea salt. salt. Yeah, some coarse sea salt, some black pepper, and uh, let's whip this up. And just mix it all in. Make mm -hmm. it all happy family in there. Mmm. <laughs> Woo, can't wait. So baby, we're pretty much done here. That was almost, a, almost. Yeah. We still have, we're about to introduce a new segment to the show, which is our Keto Mythbusters. Let's get our Keto Mythbusters question so we for this week. So we have Mythbusters here. Oh, wow. So yeah, this is a big one. This is eating, is eating fat bad? Great question. So this is a question that a lot of people struggle with when they come into the ketogenic lifestyle or learn about keto, which is that we have this notion, we've been taught that eating fat is bad, and it's actually not true at all, all right? That's why we're here to debunk this, uh, this prevalent myth. So here's the thing about keto. All babies in a, mother, in a mother's womb is in a ketogenic diet no matter what the mother eats. And when the baby is born, no matter what the mother eats, if she's breastfeeding, yeah. The baby's also keto. The breast milk is 100% keto. And that's because every cell in your body has fat and cholesterol. And fat helps you develop your vital organs. Your brain is 90% fat. fat. Mm -hmm. Now, what happened was in the 1970s, food companies uh, paid scientists to do this study um, to kind of learn what's the cause of heart disease. And the, the, the study revealed mm -hmm. that people that were on a high carb or sugar diet and a high fat diet were sustaining lots of uh, heart conditions. But what, the, what happens is that they omitted the part about the sugar in the study and what they published and the message that was publicized, which was produced and, uh, and paid for by big pharmaceutical companies is that fat was the cause of heart attacks, all right, clogged arteries, and that's just not true. The way that the body works is that in the presence of carbs and fat, mm -hmm. the body pre prefers carbs, it's a quicker source of energy. So if you're eating carbs um, and fat, you're actually gonna convert those carbs into fat to be stored 
or all the fat. You know, and the magic of how it works that by lowering carbs or in some cases, you know, eliminating them altogether, um, mm-hmm. your body no longer has that source of energy, that sugar to rely on, and it has to use its own fat. So the way keto works is that when you're consuming fats, your body's actually using that for energy, and that is why people have dramatic weight loss, yeah. uh, because it's basically an anti-inflammatory diet. But are there such things as good fats and um, great, healthy fats? Great question, yeah. baby. Yeah, so <laughs> not all fats are created equal, all right? Most of the fats that are, uh, that are prevalent in the industry are unhealthy, so I would never recommend using corn oil, vegetable oil, um, soybean oil is probably one of the worst out there and it's extremely popular right now that many restaurants are using. Mm. Peanut oil, any type of seed oil um, is not gonna be good for you. The fats that we recommend that are keto friendly would be 100% unrefined avocado oil, which is our favorite because it has a neutral flavor and a high smoking point of 500 degrees, so that's what we use for our our keto fried chicken, chicken. right? Mm. Um, <laughs> uh, we uh, 100% uh, extra virgin olive oil is also good. Um, what else we have? Coconut oil, unrefined, 100% coconut oil. It is going to have, if it's real coconut oil, it's going to have a pronounced coconut flavor. So if you don't like that coconut flavor, just use a different oil like avocado. avocado. Uh, real butter, um, not margarine, but real butter is good for you. And then animal fats are, are the best fats. So the fats that you get from, from eating fish, um, you know, pork lard for anyone that eats pork or, or beef mm-hmm. tallow. All of those are 100% ketogenic and, and good for you and they're anti-inflammatory. So awesome. you're not gonna, awesome. you're not gonna have awesome. any. Info. So let's taste our little sauce here, baby. Yes. How was that? Um, it's, it's delicious, baby. You like? Yeah, it's just. Is it has, missing anything? Um, no, it's not missing anything. A mm. little salty? A little salty. All right, no problem. That happens. Maybe I need to mix it through. Mass, mm-hmm. but that's the beauty of, of <laughs> cooking live, like, right? It's delicious. It's no, no, no. A we'll, we'll keep to it. My, we'll keep it real. <laughs> mm-hmm. Still, yeah. All right, so. Mm. But it's excellent. The good thing about salt is that it makes you thirsty, so then you can just enjoy your cocktail. All right. So we're almost getting ready to taste these bacalaitos. And our live studio audience is going to get to eat and enjoy this with us as soon as we wrap on this live. So let me go ahead and these. We have our plate right here. We have our bacalaito. I already know which one my favorite is. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell the crispy one. All right. And like I said, this is something that you can make in advance for your guests. You can put them as part of like a, a nice spread. You know, today is Sunday. People are watching the game. So it's a great way. Yeah, it's a it's, it's it's a great a great little food or snack to have as you're enjoying the game. You can just put it some of that tartar sauce on the side, so you can enjoy it Perfect. as you wish. Perfect. And we're gonna go ahead and give these a taste. Is this the one that you wanted? No, is that one? <laughs> <laughs> she likes things that are slightly charred. <laughs> Here you go, my love. How was that? Very good. Love it. Mmm. Very good. You can hear the crunch. <laughs> you can hear that? Mmm. Love it. Delicious. That's one of the hardest things to emulate. The when you go from carb loaded food to low carb food, is that processed white flour, the mm-hmm. way that it works and cooks, it gives, you know, crispiness to things and yeah. people yearn for that flavor profile. Mm-hmm. And so do we. So that's why we had to tweak this recipe because when I first made them, they were thicker. Yeah. And crispy, but not as crispy. And you said you wanted to, she wanted them crispier yes. <laughs> and thinner. And uh, and I think that these came out absolutely amazing. Amazing, mm-hmm. right? You're so good. This is my favorite part of the show. Mmm. 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 So yeah. So guys, let's recap this recipe. That was so good. Cod fritters, Caribbean, you know, street food appetizer, popular all over the Caribbean, Latin communities. And um, we made our low-carb version today. Yeah. We used uh, almond flour, coconut flour, a little bit of psyllium husk and bacon powder. Then we added some egg, our aromatic vegetables, which is the onion, peppers, and scallions, a mm-hmm. little bit of garlic and paprika to season that, and then some warm water and mix it all through just to get it to that nice, thick oatmeal consistency, a nice, thick batter. Then we fried those off very quickly, pressed them in my hand, nice and thin, and some avocado oil that we heated, 
Made a little tartar sauce, slightly salty for my love's taste, but you can you can do it to taste at home. Um, slight, uh, so that was just a few ingredients. It was you can do this with store bought mayonnaise, of course, um, but you just want to be careful with that because those are made with soybean oils and processed oils that are not entirely healthy for you, but they still are ketogenic mm -hmm. um, by nature. So you have some mayonnaise, some pickled jalapenos. A little bit of lemon and lime zest and, and salt, obviously, and, and again, pepper. And you don't have to make them this size. You can actually go ahead and... Make them smaller. Go big. Go yeah, home, absolutely. Right? <laughs> if, if you have them at a, at a regular pagalito stand, they might be this big, yeah. the size of your face. But um, you can make them any size. You can make them as a little finger food appetizer and just put a dollop of that sauce on top. And people have them at, as a nice, sophisticated cocktail there party as well. So, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Yes. <laughs> And if they like this recipe, our baby, what can they do? season of what? Our first episode, episode of our second. season two. <laughs> and tell them what they can do if they enjoyed this recipe. So, yeah, so if you like um, our recipe for today, please like and share. And also hit the notification button bell. That way you will be notified, okay, when our next episode comes episode out. Episode comes out, which is next Sunday. That's and right. And it will let you know what we are in cooking for you. Also, be sure to follow us on Instagram at about that keto. I'm sorry, at keto, keto cooking, cooking with love. With love. Uh, Instagram keto cooking with love, so you can get more content, recipes, ideas, information about upcoming events in your area. We're so happy to be here with you. So we're gonna end by saying it's in been the exciting. words, in the words of Vincent Van Gogh, "Was well, done, done, in done in love is done, done well." well. <laughs> See you guys next week. Peace. <laughs>